Hello everyone, I just wanted to talk today about books, more specifically reference books for sculpting and customizing model horses. Um, these are the books that I, as well as many artists, use when we're referencing muscles and, you know, how the horse works. Uh, you need to understand what goes on underneath the skin before you can really move things and sculpt stuff. So customizing is not as simple as it may seem because um, it's not just about moving a leg up or heating it and moving it. A lot happens when you actually move that leg to the shoulder, to the neck, you know, everything. So that's why it's always good to have reference when you're working, uh, especially uh, anatomy reference. So um, you need to get the biomechanics correct. So what's under the skin is able to work even if it's not the perfect looking horse if that makes sense um so anyway here this is the first book i'd like to recommend um it is pretty much the sculpting bible i bet you almost every artist who does um horse work uh has this book and uses it frequently um it is the atlas of animal anatomy uh by ellenberger um I'll put all links in the descriptions to these books of what I can find. Some of these are out of print and harder to find, but if you can find them, I recommend it. But anyway, so yeah, this is used very often. I believe it has dog and cow in here too, um, but it's also got a lot of horse. Um, you know, it's got everything from muscles to bones, just all around what you need for sculpting. Now, this I think is around maybe $17. If it, that's too much and you don't really want to invest in it, right? I really recommend this. It's like $3 and it's like a perfect like summary of this stuff. It's a great quick reference guide. Um, it's clear, it's concise, it's actually a really good book to reference. Um, so I highly recommend this one too. This is going to be your cheapest, quickest, you know, probably best beginner option if you don't really want to start investing too much and you just want to try it out. Um, and let's see, I've had this book. I always recommend this book. I've had this book from college uh, for my drawing classes. This one is very similar to the Ellenberger, um, although it's got uh, like softer drawings. It's more um, less medical looking, I guess, more artistic looking, still correct, but um, it's just a different style. Uh, this book also has a lot more animals in it and, and the human, so it's also a very, very good book. This one's going to be harder to find. I think it's out of print, although I think they may have reprinted it. I feel like I've seen a paperback um, recently, so I'll search for it and put the link if I can find it. That's another really good book. It's oops, Cyclopedia Anatomice, or however you would pronounce that, so I recommend that one. It's a big, heavy ugh, book. Um, but mostly I use the Ellenberger when I'm working. Um, this one I got a couple of years ago, a year or two ago. Now, I wouldn't recommend it as, like, the reference book you need, but why I got this book, um, I had seen it at uh, the sculpture workshop I was working at. They had a copy, and what's really cool about this book, I mean, it's very, you know, there's a lot of words in here. Um, I don't know how accurate this is, because I believe this is from, like, the 70s. Um, I'm sure it's fine, but... I haven't really read through it. Um, there's not many anatomy pictures in it. But what I really like about this book is that it has the proportion guides um, for ponies and zebras. And I think there's even donkey in here. Um, and draft. So you don't normally get that. You usually see the, you know, regular horse, you know, the head is the neck, is the, you know, like stuff like that. But this also has... Uh, proportions of ponies and others that are a little different that vary from the horse um, proportion wise. So this is really cool. So if you can find this, it's a nifty thing to have. Um, I had to get this uh, like really secondhand um, and I think I got it on eBay or like used on Amazon but this one's like way out of print so this one's gonna be really tough to find. It's not a necessity but it's just neat that it's got those proportions in it. And let's see, there's this one. I don't really look through this one that much. I just posted the other day a video um, uh, what this book is. Um, it was like a video something or another, but this is the book. Um, it It's really good to see against the horse where things fall. Um, I do wish there were more pictures in it like these, you know, um, but it's more about 
actual horse care than it is about, you know, the sculpting and stuff of it. So, um, but like there's a lot of regular photos and stuff, but you know, I do like these a lot. This is easy to see what happens. I mean, you can't get 100% of what's going on under there, you know, painted on the skin, but it gives you a really good idea of where things fall. Um, but again, I just kind of wish this book had more of this, um, but it's, it's more for like horse care type stuff. Um, really good though. And then this last one, you may not even think of something that you might need or think about getting. Braiding manes and tails. Um, this is great if you want to do braided manes and tails. Um, it shows you exactly how the styles are braided. So you get an understanding of what it's supposed to look like. And there's all different kinds of braids in here. I think it might even tell you what they're used for like disciplines or whatever, but I'm not sure about that because I remember I was looking for a reason one time trying to do a braid of one of these. But anyway, so that's a fun little one that you may not think of that's really, really helpful. So hopefully this is a helpful video and gives you something to think about. Um, again, these are probably the two main ones that I recommend, um, one or the other, uh, even both if you can. But if you're a beginner and you just want to start out and want to see what it's all about, I really recommend this little coloring book. It's really good and it's super, super, super cheap. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put links in the description and um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.